I, <laughs> ah. Hey guys, uh, I hope everybody's doing okay. For those who don't know me, my name is Ricky Nelson. And if it's your first time here, the first thing I want you to do is hit that little subscribe button. Or if you're watching me on Instagram, you can follow. And if you're watching me on Facebook, you can find my page and like it, I guess. Uh, thank you in advance. Now, uh, today I want to talk about something and I uh, just want to talk about some real shit because, you know, and this, this idea came up because people kept asking me one particular question and I felt, let me just address it once and for all, for all of those who are too scared to actually ask me what the question, ask me about this, okay? Now, for those of you who have yet to deduce, I shoot my videos. My studio is my living room, okay? Uh, there is nothing special about it. It's just a very simple setup, a tripod, my phone, my microphone, and a shit ton of light. That's all I do. That's all I use right now. And if you want to do this, that's all you need, okay? <laughs> now, what I want to talk about today is this. Uh, I, let's see, see this. A lot of people have asked me about this and uh, let me explain these these are electrical wires okay these are uh, electrical wires okay <laughs> for, for those of you <laughs> who are like oh fuck is this the day Ricky dies uh, no 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 it was just a silly joke <laughs> just a silly joke this is basically a cold war right now as in that's what it is it's a cold war and the last time i checked i'm winning okay <laughs> so uh the war is going to continue and if and when anything is to change i will i'll let you know well, basically you will see the difference okay now <laughs> today i want to talk about a story that I was told by a friend of mine uh, happened to him just a few a few days ago there's some real shit right here okay um, my friend got a new job he's been at this new place for about four or five months okay and one thing led to another you know when you're in a new place you meet new people you start communicating you exchange numbers blah 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 so <laughs> a few days ago this guy hits him up you know it's it's casual it's simple you know and they talk and it's about work and all that stuff and boom boom it ended so the other day <laughs> this happened and he called me so this is like second hand information he called me and he tells me ricky uh, <laughs> have you ever been hit on by a gay guy i'm like the fuck what <laughs> so he goes on to tell me about how this guy who he met at his office and they exchanged numbers at some point and eventually this guy decided to shoot his shot okay and called him up told him you know what i like you i've been checking you out blah 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 he freaked the fuck out <laughs> and this entire time when he's telling me this story i'm literally dying as in i actually put i was i remember i was watching the office i put pause and i laughed we had this conversation for about 25 minutes and i don't think i said any word until about 22 minutes i was just laughing because uh <laughs> he's not <laughs> he's not per se homophobic he's we kind of have the same the same mentality i don't have a problem with guys being gay okay uh if you're gay be gay be happy it's fine do you but do not do not try and uh uh make and turn me you're not a vampire you're gay okay <laughs> don't try and turn me okay just be happy uh do you all the best uh kudos so <laughs> my story about my encounter or the first time i actually had a gay man make advances at me it was a long time ago uh i i, I really love dancing so we used to go out a lot and before you know corona came and just took away so many things that we love i used to love dancing and we used to go out a lot and i could dance as in like i could dance for hours so this one night i remember it was at bob's okay <laughs> for those of you who know bob shout out to bob's you guys you guys set the stage for a lot of things in my life uh 
So we were dancing. And one, before I continue this story, you should know that I'm very non-confrontational. I do not like aggression. Okay? So, with that said, listen up. So I was dancing, you know, I was doing my thing, you know, busting, very, very serious moves, okay? And all, okay, it was a bit packed, the club was a bit packed. And after a while, I felt someone hit me in the back. And like I said, I'm non-confrontational, so what did I do? I moved in front, because maybe I'm in his space, so I do not want to inconvenience him. So I moved. <laughs> I'm laughing too much today. I actually need to. To towel off mid video that's awesome <laughs> so yeah i've moved forward and then i keep dancing i keep doing my thing i'm having fun it's awesome and a few minutes later again i'm like what the fuck, man okay i moved forward again remember i'm non-confrontational i do not like especially in clubs a lot of weird things happen in clubs so there is no point of starting shit, okay so i moved in front again and we keep dancing, we keep dancing. Now, <laughs> about five, five to eight minutes later, I feel the nudge in my back again, okay? And this time, my, I'm, I'm, I'm out of patience. It's gone, as in like, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna face this, and we're gonna sort this out. You, you're gonna step back, or we're gonna have to reach an understanding. So I turn around. <laughs> I can't even get through the straight face. I turn around and what I see is a gentleman looking me dead in the eye like this. <laughs> As in, I've never seen this guy like ever since that night, but I have his face seared into my brain. As in, if they were to put this guy in a lineup, I would pick him out. 10 times out of 10. I just like this. Look at me. <laughs> Dead in the eye. And <laughs> I, I have to say, at the moment, at the time, at the time, it freaked me out. Okay? Because I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't prepared for it. And it, it, it really knocked me off balance. Okay? Now, <laughs> with these two stories, uh, I thought about it after I laughed at my uh, my friend for all that long and he hung up and I thought about it and I was like you know what this is what women have to live with every single day really as in guys just think about that this is what women have to live with every single day ladies how many times has a random number called you or texted you and told you all sorts of things that you can't even put in, in into context oh blah 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 nini, nini, and all this shit and you're just so thrown aback and disgusted but the only question you can ask this fool is where did you get my number because <laughs> you need a place to direct your aggression okay all this time these girls are at clubs are out and they have to deal with all this unwanted what can I call it? Unwanted affection. Yes. They, as in this is their life. Every single day. And the one time, like for me, the one time I had to deal with it, it freaked me out so much that I had to go and sit down for a couple of hours just to get over that little experience and imagine i still have this guy's face seared into my brain and it's about 15 to 18 years later since it happened but i still remember that story like it was yesterday so fellas listen i did uh, I'm, I'm gonna i did a video about uh, it, was a, it was a valentine special i did a valentine special about uh relationships and all that i'm gonna link that video in the description below but um guys <laughs> uh, the takeaway from this video is, is for everybody ladies first of all uh, i apologize <laughs> i apologize for all the assault yeah because it's basically sexual assault i apologize for all the assault you have to go through every day in your life and guys guys we can do better banner sasa we we can do better this women deserve better from us okay <laughs> my name is ricky nelson and thanks for watching